In today's video, what are SARMs and do they work? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and today we're back with Science with Steve. This is my man Steve Bogran. So today's video we're going to talk about SARMs. What are they? How do they work? Why do they work? Are they good for you? Are they bad for you? Are they legal? Are they legal? We're going to talk about all things. Um, but first, if you're interested in some quality YouTube videos, go over to my man Steve's channel. I'm going to link it below. He just did a nice video on dietary fats. Dietary fats. And uh, I think you guys will find his content educational, entertaining, and awkward. Yes. <laughs> Should definitely be awkward. awkward. <laughs> Alright, so I get asked quite often uh, about SARMs. I often get asked by my clients, should I take them, what are they? And I gotta be honest, I gotta plead the fifth. I haven't really looked into them too much. It's one of those things that you start hearing about it, it starts building some momentum, and you know, I'm of the belief that if it's too good to be true, it's probably not true. You know, when pro-hormones got real popular, um, you know, it was the same thing. I just kind of ignored the whole movement because if I'm gonna go down that gray road, I would just jump on some stuff because you know steroids work, right? Right. So let's talk about SARMs. What the hell does a SARM stand for? What do they do? And what are some of the, the benefits and drawbacks of them? All right, so SARMs are essentially selective androgen receptor modulators. So androgens are your sex hormones, right? So things like testosterone. And so what a SARM is going to do is instead of doing something like taking exogenous testosterone or like taking tests and just upping your test levels, it makes your cells much more sensitive to the testosterone that's already going through your system. So you actually end up doing a lot more with the same amount or less, right? Um, it's kind of like if you're really, really hungry, you know, you're a lot more apt to be getting at the food then if you're nice and full and satiated, the same amount of food, you're going, ah, maybe it won't do so much for you, right? So that's kind of how I like to think about SARMs and how they work um, and what they are. They're not necessarily increasing your testosterone or increasing any of your sex or anabolic hormones. What they're doing is they're making your body much more receptive to the ones that are already in there and it's getting to use them at a much better and more efficient rate. So the legality with steroids is that you're basically injecting your body with exogenous hormones. Therefore, your body senses these changes and stops the production. And so there's some long-term dangers there. Are there long-term dangers or have there been anything associated with taking this? And is this something that you take orally or do you take it with an injection? So most of the people are getting over-the-counter SARMs um, and my understanding is that they're oral. Um, okay. I haven't heard of anybody injecting SARMs, um, and that could be simply because I'm not long enough in that, you know, field, right? So essentially, there are still side effects with SARMs. There are different strains of SARMs. Different SARMs are going to target different cell receptors, which are going to do a little bit different things. Um, there's not a lot of research in terms of SARMs for bodybuilders and healthy individuals. Most of the research for them is in cancer patients, AIDS patients, because okay. it's a lot of things to deal with muscle. So it was developed for. Okay, for muscle wasting diseases. Right, okay. absolutely. And so, where SARMs can have a huge benefit there, um, most people aren't using them for that method or that matter. Right, well, and I think that's a lot of where the bodybuilding community gets right. its initial use of things as things that are developed for other purposes because there's not a lot of people that are like worried about bodybuilders. Right. Um, so, let's talk about actual benefits. Like, you know, I, I don't know anybody walking around or that I've met that's like, yeah, I started doing SARMs and I'm up 12 grams lean, of lean body mass, 12 pounds of lean body mass. You know, in your, in your research or, you know, looking this over, did you see some actual benefits? Oh yeah, SARMs definitely work. Um, again, it's kind of similar to taking hormones except your body is upregulating the ones you're already using. So you are most certainly going to see a benefit. The research in the medical field would absolutely 100% attest to that as well. So when we're talking about receptor sites, if, if you start upregulating those, is there a refractory period? Does it, does it, does it need to be cycled on and off? Uh, I mean, you know, I have, this raises a lot more questions. <laughs> right, so one of the big ideas with SARMs is that they're not supposed to be as toxic to the liver as well, okay. and it's toxic to some of the other things. So that's why a lot of people are like, well, SARMs are great because of the fact that they don't have the same kind of 
negative effects. And again, everybody has like an oral steroid. Right. right. Okay. Right. And so each and every individual is going to have a little bit of a different effect. You know. Um, so what I would say is just like anything, if you think that it's a good idea to cycle off of it, some people like to cycle off caffeine. Um, yeah. Now, granted, caffeine and androgen receptor modulators are a very different thing. Um, I would say you would have to really look into somebody who has a lot of experience in using them with right. professional physique athletes. And I would most certainly reach out to that kind are of person. Are people getting blood tests and checking liver enzymes and doing all the health things that go along with taking SARMs? Because if someone has muscle wasting disease, right. they might not be so worried about that because they're probably right. more worried about long term, you know, short term living. Right. Whereas someone like us, young, in shape, Youngish for myself, um, you know that we're more worried about. Okay, what's our health going to be like in forty or fifty right. years? Right. So, wh has there has there been any testing done on the side effects of those? So again, so like when we're looking at exogenous hormones and steroids, typically what we're lo we're looking at all those blood levels because they're getting straight into the blood. A lot of people aren't taking necessarily right. oral steroids or take whatever the case might be. And even testosterone, being a sterile hormone, cholesterol derivative, can increase things like your blood triglyceride levels, so yeah. on and so forth. And so that's why we're having to do all those blood tests and issues when we're taking steroids of that type. Uh, with something like SARMs, we're not necessarily increasing the amount of free testosterone in the bloodstream um, or free cholesterol. We'd actually be decreasing it, wouldn't we? It would be staying the same, hopefully. Um, well, with more receptor sites, it would be getting extracted faster, correct? Right. Right, so the same, we still have the same free testosterone initially, okay. and it would be creating a better um, end result for us, right? Okay. Uh, so those things typically wouldn't be something that you would be concerned with okay. and with something like a SARM. It, to me, it only sounds like positive. I'm not hearing any negative. <laughs> it's fine on the liver. It's, it's better for probably lean body mass and things like that. So um, what is the current stance of like bodybuilding organizations, the FDA, and where is it going? So the FDA is not involved in supplements at all. Um, it's supplements are kind of this thing that are not overseen by the FDA right. and that's why a lot of them have like the disclaimer that has not been approved by the FDA, whatever. Um, in terms of federations, WADA has banned SARMs, pretty much any other natural organization has been banned SARMs. Um, so if you're going to use them, you're going to have to compete in a league or federation that does not um, test, test okay. essentially. Um, in terms of the legality of them, they are still legal as far as I know right now. There are some senators that are trying to ban them and illegalize them now. Okay. Um, so I don't think that they're going to be legal for a very long time. And now, are they, are they legal as in I can go get them at the grocery store or at GNC or are they still pretty much an online product? So online products is where you're really going to get them. Some supplement stores that are going to be you know, a little bit more friendly to untested leagues might be carrying them uh, okay. on the shelves, uh, but you're not going to go to GNC or um, probably, you know, you're definitely not gonna go to Publix or Walgreens okay. and pick up some SARMs off the shelf. Well guys, <clears throat> that's a lot of information. I think um, right now, it's just not something I'm interested in because, you know, I've done the whole natural thing my whole life. I'm not ready to jump on something that I'm not really quite certain about. I'd like to have more information, more, more, more details about it. I haven't, yeah. I don't think, I, I don't know that I've met someone that's used them, you know, like, so I'm, I'm, I'm more passive when it comes to that, so, but, I'm hearing a lot of good things um, and not a lot of bad. So maybe there is going to be some benefit to them in the future. Maybe they'll lead to something good as far as it comes to lean body mass and overall health and well being. I mean, you know, everybody and their mother's on testosterone replacement therapy now. So, right. you know, even though steroids were kind of demonized for a long time, they're starting to come into the consciousness of being a positive if used the right way. And so maybe this will be another product in that regard. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Do you have any other questions, comments? You know, this is this is a topic. Like I said, I haven't really delved into it. It's just not a part of my vernacular. But um, I'm definitely interested and curious if people out there are using it or having success. If they are and they're not talking about it, maybe I don't know. Maybe just because I'm not paying attention. Yeah, so I've been around a little while, and I, I've heard about them for a long time. <clears throat> yeah. But it's, I put them in that same category of pro hormones. Right. If it's too good to be true, it's probably not true. And again, if I'm going to go down that path, why wouldn't I just go to the source? Right. Why would I try to jack up my body when I can just inject a, a hormone? Right. And I think SARMs are at that place where they're not super new, so they've been around for a little bit, but right. they're still new enough to where we don't necessarily have as much information not on them as we want, cool. um, especially in terms of long-term health. Things. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow.